I'm Hank Hamilton from the Hamiltonville Farm YouTube channel. Congratulations on the purchase of your homestead implement. In this video, we'll cover how to cut your PTO shaft to length to fit your tractor. First, let's talk about some considerations you need to have before you cut your PTO shaft. Number one is the draw bar on your tractor. If your tractor has a draw bar on it, ensure that it does not affect the operation of your PTO shaft. The angle from which the PTO shaft is connected from the tractor to the implement may be affected by the draw bar. So make sure that draw bar does not touch that PTO shaft or the safety covering that comes on your PTO shaft. Another thing you need to consider is are you connecting the implement to the tractor itself via the three-point hitch system or do you have a quick hitch or a patch easy chain system? Now, if you have a quick hitch or a patch easy chain system, this will actually increase the length that you need on your PTO shaft, so don't forget to take that into consideration. Now, in order to get the length that you're gonna need for your PTO shaft, you're gonna need to take three measurements. The measurements will be taken while the implement is on the ground, while the implement is halfway up, and while the implement is lifted as high as possible on your three-point hitch system. These three measurements will ensure you get the right length for your PTO shaft based on the range of motion from your three-point hitch system. So what you're gonna do is measure from the end of your PTO shaft that comes out of your tractor and take that measurement on the other end, on the implement itself, where there's a groove that is cut out in the PTO shaft. Our second measurement will be with the implement that is halfway up. Now that we've got the implement halfway up, we'll measure again from the same two spots. Here I have 31 and a half. So this measurement is 31 and a half inches. So now we'll raise the implement all the way up and take another measurement. Now let's see what this last measurement is going to be. Again, same spots. Looks like 30 and seven, uh, let's call it 30 and three quarters. So 30 inches and three quarters is going to be our shortest distance for our implement to our tractor. Now that we've determined that 30 and three quarter inches is the shortest that we need our PTO shaft to be, we can start measuring the PTO shaft itself and determine how much we need to take off of it. So what we've done is we've measured, remember on the implement side, we measured from that groove. So we're gonna measure from the bolts here on the slip clutch, cause that's the groove, that represents where the groove is on the, uh, the spline. And then we're gonna measure all the way to the end here where it connects to the tractor itself. So if you're looking at this measurement, we have 48 inches. So this is a four foot long PTO shaft. We need it to be 30 and three quarter inches compressed. So what does that mean? That means we have to take off 17 and a half inches from each side, all right? So we're gonna split this PTO shaft into two pieces and each piece we take off 17 and a half inches off this side and off this side. Let me show you that process. Now we have the PTO shaft in two individual pieces. So we're gonna measure 17 and a half inches and that's what we're gonna take off this side and this side. We're gonna make four cuts on this PTO shaft. One cut will be on the protective PTO shaft, which is the plastic covering here. The second cut will be on the actual metal shaft itself. And then on this piece, we're gonna actually repeat the process on the shaft cover itself and on the metal. So it's four total cuts. And how you measure the first one is you start, you measure from the end of the PTO shaft cover, and we're taking 17 and a half inches off, and you make your mark at 17 and a half inches. So this is what we're gonna cover. So you measure from here back toward the U joint. And we're gonna repeat the same process on the other PTO shaft cover. We're gonna come from the end of the PTO shaft and we're gonna measure back 17 and a half inches back toward the slip clutch. Just make our mark there. Again, it doesn't have to be rocket science. If you're off a quarter inch, half inch, you're still gonna be okay. For the PTO shaft cover, a hacksaw will suffice. It's only a piece of plastic, so a hacksaw will be fine. What I've done is I just put a piece of duct tape on it just to kind of help me keep my cut straight. Anyway, if you can cut straight, you don't really need this. Now that I've got the PTO shaft cover cut on this one, I'll use the hacksaw and repeat the process on the other side.
there you have it. Now your plastic shaft covers are cut to the appropriate length. All we have to do now is put your PTO shaft in a vise and cut the metal portion of it now. So we're gonna make a cut with our chop saw here. You can actually do it with a chop saw or you could do it with a sawzall, a bandsaw, a hacksaw, whatever you have that will cut through this steel tubing. Again, we're gonna measure from the end of the shaft going toward the slip clutch, 17 and a half inches is where we'll make our mark. And that's where the PTO shaft will be cut. Once you get the steel tubing cut of the shaft itself, take a file or some type of uh, angle grinder and get these burrs off the steel tubing. And you can see now why you cut the PTO shaft first. Now these, this other shaft will go on top of it as well as the protective PTO sleeve. So this is why you cut this part and this part. But now let's clean this up a little bit. Now that you cleaned up the burrs around the inside shaft, We'll repeat the process on the other shaft and then get the two shafts greased up and reconnected. Again, we've measured from the end of the shaft and made our mark 17 and a half inches, again, going toward the U-joint. Again, we'll get the burrs off of the shaft that we just cut, get it greased up and reassemble it. Now that both sides are cut, we're gonna reassemble the PTO shaft. The PTO shaft only goes on one way. And once we get it reassembled and take a measurement, we'll take it back apart and then actually grease the shaft itself. Now that we've got it reassembled, we're going to measure it to make sure that we're around 30 and a half, somewhere around in there, 30 and three quarters, something like that. Here we go. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll hold that side, I'll hold this side. Put that there. Yep, there you go. Just like we planned it. Good job. Next step is to take this back apart, apply some grease, and then put it on the implement itself, and then attach it to the tractor. You can use really any kind of grease that you have laying around, just out of your grease gun or whatever. We've got the PTO shaft greased up now. All that's left is to put the PTO shaft onto the implement and then test it against the tractor to make sure our measurements were correct. Now that the PTO shaft is cut to the appropriate length, make sure that the slip clutch goes onto the input shaft of the gearbox on the implement itself. And secure it tightly with the provided nuts and bolts. And that's as simple as it is. Make sure you measure twice, cut once, right? Enjoy your new homestead implements. I hope this video helps you.